Now the one and one pitch. He swung on and missed for strike number two. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Mantle is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Coming to the plate now, Garrett Stubbs was an 0 for 4 effort for him in Wednesday's ball game. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Hey, that was a nasty backdoor slider right there, but he was able to stay tucked and drive that baseball the other way. In now, Josh Reddick. And he misses two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Reined in on the first, and the Astros can't cash in. Is that in? Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Springer. He's there and records the first down. Set coming. to get his evening at the plate started, Gary Sanchez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. A swing by Sanchez, and this one soaring out into left field. Gone! It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Number 13 for him on the year. And this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. He's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. Into the box, DJ LeMayhew. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Into the box now, Miguel Andujar. Back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. So now to the plate. Mickey Mantle fouled off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. On a line, that's a base hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, we're talking about two full weeks 
of finding a way to be productive and get a knock. Good to think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game, and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive days in a row as a pitcher, you have to just tip your cap to this guy. At the plate now, Cal Ripken hit sharply on the ground. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Long throw to third. And he'll get in there safely at third. Second and third now with two gone. Hey, guys, that's a well-executed slider down the way right there. The batter just did an amazing job of staying inside the baseball and driving it the other way. To the plate now, Torres. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We're back now as the Astros ready to bat in the third inning. And as they do, it's a good time to discuss their offense, which has been a real source of pride for this club. They come into this game near the top of the league in both batting average and on base percentage. And talking to a few of the players earlier, they emphasize the importance of having quality at bats every time one of them goes to the plate. One player told me, we have a lot of professional hitters on this team and we hold each other up to a certain standard. Guys, that level of accountability set for the start of the fourth and next to bat will be the outfielder Aaron Judge one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings the one two he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there got it to bend a lot and by the time it got there it had fallen completely out of the zone not much you can do with that pitch tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes and a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away you know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout he the fell bat. behind 2-0 to the start the at bat that's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt, high in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Grinky steps into his windup. Here's the one and two. Hit hard, but right into the shift. He's got it. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go. The Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Michael Brantley. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Outside and a full count, three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. And that misses two and two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. 
fielded cleanly and they tag him out but this will work as a sort of a sacrifice as the runner moves up. Now back. So a runner on second with one down okay. now and striding in the speedy okay. second baseman Jose Altuve. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Halfway to the plate this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's now a three to two contest. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he currently sits third in the AL in that category can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two and that one misses badly it's ball two next pitch coming up here will make it an even 100 for the ball game now a swing and a fly ball and no one will track it down here now the two two that's back toward the mound this will be a tough turn however So stepping in, Yuli Gurriel, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The count now at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. The 1-1 home. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. And to score is the runner from third. It's a 4-3 to three game. Boy, that has to feel good as now a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment now down. 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 Center himself and come through in a big spot. Correa. Digging in to try it again. Carlos Correa. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. And that is through into left field, the base hit. And he is going to beat the throw home as he scores to make this a 5-3 game now. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, d -Row, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, when you're sitting in a hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Michael. 3-1 is a fastball, and he can't connect three and two. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Mantle's on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So four